maintaining a 3D printer is no picnic. I have a Monoprice Maker Select V2, which is a Wenhou Duplicator i3, and I've got a bit of a jam, so I took apart this extruder assembly. There was a lot of filament stuck in that feed gear, but it still didn't fix the, the clog. As it extrudes, it just stops every now and then. So I'm going to see if I can unclog the nozzle, because I suspect a nozzle clog. And for that, we've got this awesomely small drill bit that came with the printer. This way we bring down the chances of burning our fingers from, say, 100% to maybe just 99.9. .9. So I'm just using this mount so that I have a solid base. And so that I can kind of look up and get a better angle from underneath the extruder assembly. So that it's easier to see what the hell is going on. As is traditional, use a wholly inappropriate tool for the job. Very carefully try to get this into the nozzle to clear up the nozzle. And we're in there all right. And we're not feeling any resistance, so that may not be it. Or it might be, who knows. Okay, so we've got a, another print queued up. And, I don't know, somehow I'm not really feeling great about this, but... Oh! Yeah, that would be why. Would be good to maybe have some filament loaded in. Sorry for the bad angle, but yes, I just loaded it with film and as it was starting to print. Go figure. Stupid me. Absolutely no filament coming out right now. So that's really not ideal. In certain steps it wouldn't extrude nearly as much as in others, which seems to be what I'm seeing right now, yeah. You see how that noodle is moving far less for each step right now? And then it speeds up, now you just have it oozing. So there's something weird going on in there. I spent an hour or two confirming the uneven extrusion rate by marking the filament with this sharpie and then doing some test extrusions. I found some wear marks on the extrusion gear, so I guessed it might have been worn out, and I decided to try to replace it. Maintaining a 3D printer is no picnic. Those following along at home will realize that that was the second time I failed to either load or unload the filament. Go figure. It 
took me quite a while to figure out how to get the lever assembly to release from the stepper motor housing that the extruder gear is mounted to. This was irritating at best. You probably could have done this without taking the lever assembly off in retrospect, so don't necessarily make the mistake that I did. Once I had the lever assembly off, I played around with the stepper motor for a bit to see if I could see any slipping behavior on the part of the stepper. I couldn't spot any. Remember which direction the extruded gear is mounted on the stepper motor, or you'll wind up having to rewind the video that you just took to figure out which way you're supposed to put it back on in 13 seconds. It's not like I forgot or anything. There's... I just decided to take a cut here for no reason whatsoever. And as usual, putting things back together is the exact opposite of taking them apart, except that it's a lot more difficult, so... I had a lot of trouble getting the lever assembly back together. You have this spring tension pressing apart on the entire assembly if you try to wedge the spring in there as you do so, and it's just actively working against you the entire time, so this step was a huge pain. Reassembling this extruder assembly is always a pain because you have to move these two wires that go to the heater block out of the way as you mount it back to the block, and it's a very tight fit, so you see me fiddling around for quite a while here. Still counting? That's the third time I managed to have a bit of a filament fail. <laughs> Go figure. So believe it or not, that was not the issue either. However, after messing around with the extruder for a little while, I discovered that pressing up on the extruder lever had some interesting effects. Namely, pushing up on the lever yielded perfectly even extrusion. A minor dilemma. That's the original spring. And these two are the only compression springs that I have in my variety. I spent a while hunting down springs that shot off across the garage while I was trying to install them, and then ultimately decided on this rather odd configuration. Hey, if it's stupid and it works, it's stupid and it works. As they say, fourth time's a charm. I got that right, didn't I? What do you mean I didn't? 